Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic, linear equations. And for this particular subtopic, we'll be looking at applications of linear equations in real life. So we have a few questions to help us with illustrations on how uh, linear equations are applicable in uh, real life or how we use linear equations to solve certain problems in in real life so at the end of the lesson you'll be having also some questions in the form of assignment just to help you with practice and also to help check on your understanding of the concept as discussed during this lesson so the following are some of the applications of linear equations in real life so we have the first one given as you know now we have a piece of wire which is 200 centimeters long this wire is bent to form a rectangular, a rectangular shape. One side of the rectangle is four centimeters longer than the other. Find the dimensions of the rectangle. So we just need to draw a rectangle. So we try and draw a rectangle. So, uh, so this whole length is 200 centimeters, you know, that is like the perimeter of this. But then there is some information that is given here that one side of the rectangle is four centimeter, four centimeters longer than the other. So let's say this side is X, even if the length should be longer than the width. So this one should be X plus four. So from there, I can then apply the formula that is used to find the perimeter. So perimeter is equals to 2 into length plus width. That is for a rectangle. So the perimeter is given as 200. And this is equals to 2 into what? Length is x plus 4. And width is x. So this is 200 equals to 2 into what? Now this is going to be 2x plus 4. So you'll have to open that bracket. So you can see this is an equation in one unknown, which is part of what is discussed during, I mean, uh, within the topic linear equations. And now this is used to solve basically this particular kind of problem in life. So we have uh, in real life that is, so we have 200 equals to, so if I open up this bracket, I will have to multiply what's outside the bracket by both terms inside the bracket. So we have two terms, 2x and 4. So I'll have to multiply both of them by, by these two. So the first one will be 4x and the second one will be 8. Okay. So then now we can try and solve this. So 8 will move to the other side. So now I have 200 minus 8 because now if 8 cross, crosses to the other side, becomes minus. And of course, the right hand side, we still have 4x. So 200 minus 8, that is 192. The other side, we still have 4x. So what do we do to find the value of x? We divide both sides by 4. So I will have only x remaining on the other side. And this side, if you divide, I will have 4 goes into 19 how many times? That is 4 times because of 16. The remainder is uh, 3. 16, you subtract from 19, that is 3. 3, that will give us 32 here. So 32 divided by 4, that should be 8. So x is 30. X, x is, uh, the value of x is 48. Now, that is solving the problem. So let's see if we can answer the question that is asked. So find the dimensions of the rectangle. So we have the length as 48 centimeters. And how about the width? The width should be 48 plus what? Because the other side is x plus 4, so 48 plus 4 should be 52 centimeters. So we have, answering the question now, we'll state length as 52 centimeters, and the width of this rectangle should be 48 centimeters. So we have another one here. So this other one, we have somebody here whose name is not mentioned earning x shillings while 
his wife earns. So let's start with the man. So we have the man. The man earns how much? X. X shillings. And now there is the wife. We are also, meant, uh, we are also told about the wife. So the wife earns how much? A third of. So this is a third of. So that is a third of what? A third of X. Now, after spending a third of their contribution, or, or, I mean, uh, after spending a third of their combined income, you know, they have 2,400 shillings left. So let's see what remains. If you spend a third of, what is left is two thirds. So that is what you want to find. So two thirds of the combined income. That is what is equivalent to 2,400. So you continue two thirds of the sum of the two because combined. So this is a third of X and you are told this equals to 2,400. Yes, so you can open up the bracket, you see. So remember they spent a third. So we are told they have 2,400 left. So what we are keen on what is left. So what is left if they spent a third, it means what was left after that expenditure should be two thirds. So two thirds of the combined. So if you open up the bracket, what do we get? So we have two thirds of X plus, now this one here, you will just multiply the numerators two by one and then three by three. So two by one is two and three by three is nine. So of X, see so that is equals to 2400 so continue here so the lcm we can find the lcm so that we combine this because they are like terms they contain same variables which are raised to the same power so what is the lcm nine that is the lcm of three and nine nine so three goes into nine how many times three times three by two is six so we'll write 6x plus 9 goes into 9 once, 1 by 2 is 2. So we write 2x and this equals to 2400. Zero, zero. So when you combine the numerator part, that will be 8x over 9. This should be equal to 2400. Zero, zero. So what do you do now? You cross multiply, you know. So eight by one is eight. So I write as eight X and the other side I will get nine by 24, zero, zero. So for me to find the value of X, I'll have to divide both sides by eight. So right hand side, left hand side, I have X, the other side, we can try and uh, simplify. So eight goes into eight once, eight goes into 2,400. So it goes into 24 million times, three times. Then you add the two zeros there, see? So what you do is that you multiply a nine here by three to give us 27 and then you add the two zeros. So that is 2,700. So how much does the man earn? What the man earned was represented by the value of X. So the man, so the man earns, Shillings, 2,700. 2,700 shillings. That is what is earned by the man. It is the value of X, basically. So how much does the man earn? That is X, and that is what you have gotten. Finally, we have this. So John divides, divided his uh, savings among his son, daughter, and wife. His wife got 6,000 shillings more than the daughter and the son received twice as much as his mother. If the total savings is 1,000 or 126,000, find how much each gets. Now, this is slightly different from the previous one in that we'll have to find what each earns. So what we do is to list basically uh, the same way we listed in the previous example. So we have 
the son. See? And there is the daughter. And then we have the wife. So there are three people here. So we have the wife. So we start with the wife. So the wife gets 6,000 more than the daughter. So let's say the daughter has X. Then it means the wife will have X plus 6,000. So more than we add 6,000, we add plus. And then the son receives twice. So twice means two times. So two, two into what? As much as his mother. The mother got what? X plus 6,000. See? Yes. So what happens? So if the total savings is... So if you add all these, you should get... 126,000. So, so I have 2 into x plus 6,000. That is the son plus the daughters, which is x, plus the wives, which is x plus 6,000. This is equals to 126,000. So you first open this bracket. So you have 2x plus 12,000 plus x plus x plus 6,000. This equals to 126,000. So you collect the like terms. 2x plus x is 3x plus x is 4x. So you have 4x and then we have 12,000 plus 6,000. That is 18,000. So plus 18,000, that is equals to 126,000. So 18,000 will move to the other side and becomes uh, minus. So 4x should be equal to 126,000. You subtract 18,000. So minus 1800. Zero, zero. Three zeros that is. So if you do that, what do you get? So you can use the long subtraction, long approach of basically subtracting. So let me do the subtraction here. So I have one, two, six, and then the three zeros, and then you subtract eighteen thousand here. So this is subtraction. So zero, 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 sixteen. You borrow one from two. We'll make this 16. 16 minus 8 is 8. 1 minus 1 is 0. And then you drop 1. So that is 108,000. So we have 4x equals to 108,000. So you simply divide both sides by, by 4. So x is equal to what? So x uh, 4 goes into 10 twice because of 8. Remainder 2. 28, 7. Then you added the three zeros. So 27,000, 27, that is the value of x. Now, that will help us find the amount received by each. So this is going to be 27,000. You add 6,000, that is 33,000. So we have 2 into 33,000. So 33,000. So what is that equivalent to? 66,000 if you multiply by 2. So that is the amount received by the son. The daughter, the daughter received X and X is 27,000. And then there is the wife. The wife received uh, 27,000 plus 6,000, which is 33. And that is all that you needed to do. So that is the end. We have about two questions here to help you with practicing and just to help you from your understanding of the concept as discussed during this lesson. Otherwise, that is all for now. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>